Welcome to the first in a series of Department of Public Instruction web webinars intended to support the work of the district lead reading specialist. We are pleased to welcome our district reading specialist today. We recognize that there are also others joining us today and don't hold the position of district reading specialist. We would also like to welcome you. I am Sheila Briggs, Assistant State Superintendent of the Division for Academic Excellence. It's our vision in DPI that this series will connect you to each other and provide information and resources that will assist your reading work. Throughout the webinars, you will meet different DPI staff from a variety of teams. All of these people have been working on DPI's vision for improving reading achievement for our state's students. This team represents individuals from the Title I team, the Special Education team, the Content and Learning team, and the and the School Libraries and Lifelong Learning team. A complete list of team members will be available soon on the DPI website. Laura Adams, the person you received the webinar invite, is a Title I consultant that is a part of this state literacy team. Connie Ellingson is a support person on the content and learning team that will also send information to you in the future and is a key contact on reading initiatives for the state. I am also pleased to announce that in the last month, we have filled vacant positions, including our new reading consultant, Sharon Tolner, and a part-time LTE reading consultant, Carly Roberts. Tamara Maxwell has also been hired as the new English language arts consultant for DPI. They are all excited to be working with all of you, and we are thrilled to have them on the DPI team. Good afternoon, fellow educators. My name is Sue Grady, and I'm the Executive Assistant in the Office of State Superintendent. We are so glad that you are with us this afternoon. You are so important as we move forward in strengthening reading and uh, implementing the Common Core State Standards. State Superintendent Tony Evers has put a priority on closing the achievement gaps and improving reading achievement for all our students. Through your skills, your expertise, and leadership, we will be able to accomplish these goals. This screen shows how you can give feedback to us during the webinar. Use this feedback mechanism to let us know if you can't hear or if you need us to slow down. Use the pull-down box to change your status. This next screen shows how you can ask questions. During the webinar, all of the participants will be muted. Although there's not a question and answer section in today's agenda, we will document your questions. Use the directions on the slide to ask a question. Please note that because of the system capabilities, you will only be able to submit one question at a time. Until the presenters have answered or cleared your question, you cannot submit another. Please remember to key in your questions. They may be answered during today's webinar, or they'll be captured for future webinars. As you can see in this quote, research supports the vital importance that is played by an effective reading specialist. These research findings, along with the recommendation by the National Research Council about the importance of the reading specialist as a means of enhancing students' reading performance, support the importance of your role. We've had a statutory requirement for each district to have a district reading specialist for quite some time. These webinars are intended to assist in maximizing the potential we have in our reading specialists. Recently, the Governor's Read to Lead Task Force, of which State Superintendent Evers was the Vice Chair, completed its report, and you'll be hearing more about that in the next webinar. But during these task force discussions, practices from other states were reviewed. Minnesota, Massachusetts, and Florida were several of the states that were looked at because of the success that they had in increasing reading achievement. One of the things noted was that in many of the states that had increased achievement, there was an individual at the district whose responsibility was reading. Namely, they implemented reading curriculum, they used data, and they prof provided professional development to teachers. In Wisconsin, we've had a similar requirement for many years. In fact, it's been since 1977. That's when Wisconsin State Statute 118.0152 has been in place. 
It describes the requirement for each district to employ a reading specialist to coordinate a comprehensive reading curriculum K through grade 12. Over the years, both at the district and state level, we've kind of lost sight of the potential that that professional serving in this capacity has on moving reading forward. And the time has come to now maximize the potential that we have in our district reading specialists. Outlined on this slide are the five duties that are required of the reading specialist as indicated in state statute. As you read these, two things should become very apparent. The first is that at the center of all of these duties is the notion of collaboration. Whether you're talking about curriculum development or serving as a resource to other teachers or coordinating with other programs such as special education, gifted and talented, serving English language learners, working with the district assessment coordinator, all of those demand the knowledge and skills of an individual skilled both in content and leadership, which is why the reading specialist license is in the administrator category. The second thing that becomes very apparent is how these duties and others that the school district might determine are carried out by the district reading specialist and that this will vary tremendously. Keeping in mind, we have 424 school districts in the state. The smallest K-12 district serves 64 students. The largest serves over 79,000. It goes to show variation will exist. And don't worry if there's anything on this list that you're not sure about. Those are some of the topics that we're going to be addressing in future webinars. We also received lots of questions regarding the reading specialist position prior to today's webinar. So we're going to try and address a couple of those. The first, is the reading specialist on an administrator or teacher contract? It's important to remember that licensure and job title are not the same thing. Some jobs require a certain licensure, but hold a li holding a license does not mean that it always matches your current job. For example, many teachers hold a principal's license, but remain teaching in the classroom. The reading specialist licensure falls under the administrative licensing category. Depending on the district and the job that is held, the individual may be on the administrative pay scale and contract or on a teacher pay scale and contract. That is something that's determined at the local level. Another question was, do the reading specialists evaluate teachers? Again, depending on the district and the role of the reading specialist related to teacher evaluation will vary. By law, the district reading specialist conducts an annual evaluation of the curriculum. Because it is silent regarding teacher evaluation, that is left up to the district. Another question we received was, can a district have reading specialists at the school level? The answer is absolutely. I think it's important to distinguish between an individual who holds the reading specialist license and is working at a building level to support students and teachers from the individual that is charged with the responsibility to carry out duties outlined in the law on a district level. Another question, does the reading specialist only work with students or only teachers? Again, this varies from district to district. There is nothing in the law that prevents the district reading specialist from working with students, but that must be in addition to carrying out the duties outlined in the law. And finally, how does the work of a reading teacher, someone with a 316 license, differ from that of a reading specialist? The reading teacher works primarily with students, and the reading specialist brings leadership to the reading program. But again, a district can design those jobs and decide which licenses are required for the job that they've designed. For the purposes of today and future um, webinars, we are talking specifically about the law required district reading specialist that must hold a reading specialist license. So that's just a sampling of the questions. And in other Coming webinars will respond to more as they arrive. So back in December of 2011, a survey was sent to all of the district administrators in the state. The purpose of that survey was to gather information about the district reading specialist. 
District reading specialists were identified, and the percent of time on each of the five required duties were also identified. And as Sheila mentioned, we did this because we want to gear these trainings to those individuals that are serving in this professional capacity of leadership around the reading program. So we now have the person identified as serving in this role in almost all the districts in the state. Some of you have probably served in this role for a very long time, and others may have been newly appointed. Some districts may have just the one district reading specialist. Others might have a variety of individuals that are all contributing um, to fulfilling this role. We will continue to gather data regarding reading at the district and school level, and we hope that you will provide feedback regarding information that would be helpful to you. The series of webinars that are planned so far have four core objectives. We want you to connect with us and with each other. This is the venue for DPI to communicate with you about state-level initiatives. We also want you to share best practices and issues that you may share with other districts. We hope that the discussion is rich and beneficial. We want to learn from you and what is happening in your district, and also we would like you to learn from each other building on each other's practices. We want you to reflect on your reading instructional practices and others that would be helpful for your districts. Our goals also include providing support from DPAI staff and providing a means for a network of support among you. One of the ways that we want to provide support to you is through a new website that the Department of Public Instruction has created called Read Wisconsin. You can locate the site at the address listed on the screen. It is already a great resource for teachers, librarians, parents, and others, although we've just scratched the surface with what we'd like to be able to provide on this site. We'll be creating a special place on the website just for reading specialists to begin communicating and sharing with each other in a private space that only you will be able to access through a login. For now, there is a forum entitled Read District Reading Specialist that's available to anyone in the general public. Please sign up and begin interacting on that site. You'll need to create a profile if you haven't already done so. As Sheila mentioned, we hope this website will be a special place to assist in your reflection, learning, and sharing of your work. We hope that it will assist you in building that professional learning community. Webinar three of this series will spend time walking you through this website and acquainting you uh, uh, with the various features that exist. But in the meantime, take a look and, as Sheila suggested, create a login. We hope that these webinars provide vital information to you. We intend for you to share the information you learn with others in your district. We ask you to spend some time looking at the duties as they're outlined in the statutory language to see how what you are doing compares to what is outlined. And we ask that you participate in the Wisconsin Reading Specialist Cadre Activities. The next activity will be a survey that we ask you to do regarding your experience today. Um, we will be receiving that shortly, and I will talk a little bit more about that later. Reading is front and center of all the work we're doing in education in Wisconsin. For example, the work of the Read to Lead Task Force, the Common Core State Standards, Disciplinary Literacy, the New State Assessment, RTI, Educator Effectiveness, the accountability work, and the waiver, and the list goes on. This cadre is one of several supports to help you improve reading achievement and to keep you informed about the initiatives listed on the slide. This is a part of DPI's vision for improving reading instruction. As we mentioned, a number of webinars are in the planning stage. The next two are listed on this, sli on this slide. Tomorrow, you will receive a survey from Connie Ellingson um, requesting your reactions to the survey and what are some things that you might be interested in. Please also watch for your next invitations for webinars two, which will focus on the Read to Lead report, 
uh, and webinar three, which will focus on the Read Wisconsin website. All webinars will be archived for reference on the Reading Wisconsin website because we realize you are very busy people and may not have time to connect at the time of the webinar. On behalf of State Superintendent Tony Evers, thank you for all you do for Wisconsin students and teachers. We are thrilled about working with you. The potential for improving reading instruction across the state through information sharing, collaboration, and learning from one another is exciting. Your ongoing responsibility will be to share this information